Hello everybody. Let's enjoy fruit. Welcome to Ben Show. I'm sure all your hands are getting really tired from picking so much fruit, but hang in there, it's going to be worth it, because this year's fruit festival is going to be a smash. And here to talk about it today, I've got the director of what will be now the 11th annual Fresh Fruit Festival here. This is Jarmus Hango, and he's got a lot to tell us about today's fruit festival that we're getting ready to enjoy. We will collect fruit this harvest. Personally, I've been collecting a lot of oranges because I find that they perish a little slower than, say, a banana. A banana? And are there any fruit that you're particularly excited about for this year's festival? Banana. <laughs> okay, I did not expect that at all. So thank you so much. And let's just watch some sunny bunnies. Gonna need sunny bunnies just to walk oh, Nothing else matters, they're so sunny for a music lesson about chords. One of the first things we learn when we're learning about chords is that major chords are happy and minor chords are sad. But that's not actually true and can be confusing later on when you start hearing sad sounds that are actually made of major chords. happy sounds that are actually made of minor chords. We can do a lot of different emotions with major chords. Let's focus on major chords. Let's use major chords to create scary boss fight music for an imagined video game. What we're going to do is take a major triad and we're going to move it up a half step and then a whole step and then up a half step, and then a whole step, a half step, a whole step. We're going to just keep moving up like that. So the way that you make major chords sound evil is you play them really low on the piano so the harmonics clash. That's evil. His name is simply Mr. Karen Now let's use major chords to create a nostalgic, kind of melancholic, bittersweet feel, like you're remembering something nice that isn't going on anymore, but you're glad you have the memories, but you wish the thing that you're remembering was now. What we're going to do is take a major triad, and then another major triad that's up a fourth from that first major triad, and play them at the same time. And if we take a chord like that and just move it around without caring about key, 
without caring about where we're moving it, just feeling around, moving around, you can unlock some emotional realms that are really special and really hard to put your finger on. through the fruit festival. We are ready for the fruit festival! We're gonna get right into the banana split. Now most people can't do this. Pretend like someone's just pushing on your shoulder. It's, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen! I feel so stretched out now. I, I just love all the television programming that airs leading up to the fruit festival. There's just so much to learn. Ooh, nice colors. A woman smiles while eating salad. Not a care in the world. No two salads are ever the same. And all women smile while eating salad. This is a scientific fact. A woman who smiles while eating salad understands and embraces the ultimate truth. That time is a woman smiling while eating salad, and we are the salad. And just as the salad is digested by the woman so that it may become part of the woman, we too are digested by time so that we may become part of the cosmos. And anything left over becomes fertilizer for new things to grow from it. I'm Uncle No Rules, and this has been Reading Poems to Fruit. I think it's finally time. Yep, uh-huh. Yep, they're calling me over. Let's go. We gotta go cover the fruit festival. It's happening. It's starting, everybody. It's starting. 11th Annual Fruit Festival. It. It's time for fruit. Chevy Silverado. 